now we have these narrations that state that the example of Salah is in Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, and also in the Qa'im. So if we're living in the time of the Qa'im, or even for those who don't believe in this Dawah yet, but they're anticipating the coming of the Qa'im or the Mahdi, they have to pay attention uh, to this fact because clearly Muhammad and the family of Muhammad, they wanted us to look into the story of Salah. And if we did and if we understood it and we believed in it, we would be better prepared for the events that would take place in the time of uh, the Mahdi or the Qa'im. Wow. And I think here what's happening in our Dawah is a fulfillment of that very narration.